Well, what kind of license do you use on your on your photographs? Do you do you copyright oh. them or do you like because that's the other thing is putting stuff online. Mm-hmm. A photograph is probably one of the easiest things to share. And I know mm-hmm. that there is a stigma with, you know, a problem with people putting their photographs online and some of them don't like it or they don't put all of their photographs online because right. of that. But right. do you use things like Creative Commons or do you do a strict copyright? Do you do takedowns? Like what's your process for that? You know, I. I think that a lot of the people who are overly who are very concerned with with copyright they they fall into you know uh, kind of two different characters. They're either you know a very uh, you know high end professional commercial photographer who's you know they've had their work stolen and you know they're constantly licensing their work. Um, you know this was an older kind of business model where you might photograph something that was generic enough to be able to soul, to be able, you know, to, to sell for like stock photography later on. And yes, you very much had to protect, you know, your copyright and you wanted to make sure all your images were submitted to the copyright office. You know, every image that you create is already copyrighted. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, you already have some protection. Uh, You'll be, you know, so if someone steals it and they use it, you will be able to get the money back for, you know, that that use. But you don't get your legal fees back, and and you don't get damages, and mm-hmm. and um, so so that is one case. Uh, then the other case is usually people who are, you know, they're more on the amateur level, and they're very worried about people stealing their work. I, I don't worry about that because, you know. We should all be so lucky that that we get famous enough that someone wants to steal your work, or or that you're creating work good enough that somebody else wants to steal it. That I think is the first place that you want to get. Um, you know, I've had people take some of my photographs and you know they put them up on their blog and they've talked about them, but it's always been from the standpoint of I really like these and you know here's the guy and and I. That only does that only helps me out, you know. Mm-hmm. That only that helps me out. Now, I've only really had one case where I felt a photograph of mine, the concept was was stolen, you know. That that really, uh, yeah. It, and it was I had I had done a photograph. Uh, happened to be it was a New York, uh, you know let's see, the Natural History Museum, I believe. And it was a silhouette of a mother and a, a son in front of these ibexes, I believe. Um, and the mother's leaning down to the son as the son's pointing up. And it was this nice little moment that I took. And and it was published uh, years ago. Canon kind of had the, a little online magazine. And so uh, it was published in there with an interview. And a few months later, at a New York photo convention, someone's like, hey, are they using your photograph to promote this convention? And I'm like, no. And I see a photograph in front of the same place, you know, very similar framing. It mm-hmm. was in, shot in the exact same location oh. with a different silhouette in front of it. And I was like, yeah, that looks a lot like my photograph. It doesn't have the same impact as I thought mine did. But it was done by a more... Um, a more well-known photographer. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and so I just realized there's, there's nothing to be done, you know? Um, and I have, I have no way of proving he saw my photograph, even though it was published and it was, you know, published by Canon in their magazine. I have no, I have no concept. He could have stumbled upon the same photograph as, or the same type of image as I did. Um, or Canon could have and, said, we want a photo like this, not giving them a frame of reference for, you yeah. know. Uh-huh. Yeah. I, you know, I have no proof and uh, nothing was nothing good was going to come from it. Yeah. From me being upset about it or from me, you know, I didn't have any kind of a, a case. It happens, you know. It, so... You know, the the healthiest thing in that point is to let it go. <laughs> right. And just go, okay. Well, you know, I, I, in some ways it's validating. It's like, okay, I had a much better known photographer, you know, do a similar image that he thought was good. So, all right. <laughs> yeah. And that's the way I see it too. Like, uh, I know there's the worry of people stealing your work, but 
I think the same way. I'm like, if somebody did of note and was it steals something that I did or use it for something and didn't ask permission or didn't give attribution or didn't uh, compensate me for it. I'm going to shout it from the rooftops and make sure everybody knows so that it will get picked up. That actually kind of happened only it was accidentally to me once. Um, mm. One of the first album covers we did was designed by, we had a member in the band who, uh, who used to be in the band who his wife was a graphic designer and she was in Chicago and we were doing our first EP and there was this 1930s world world's fair that was held there. And it was like space themed or something. I don't know. It was like a picture of a planet with like a ring that swooped around it. And it was graphically designed. And she was like, I want to design the album just like this. And I was like, you do that because that's fantastic. You know? So she did years went by things changed, whatever. And then in the mid two thousands, uh, bad brains, which is a band that I, that I like, they mm-hmm. had Shepard Ferry did a new cover for their album that was just released, and it was called uh, it was called Rise or something like. No, not Rise. That's a different album entirely. Great. Now I'm not going to remember the name of the album, but it was an album that Shepard Ferry, the artist, did. Yeah. And I'm looking at it, and I'm like listening to the album, looking at the cover, and all of a sudden I'm like, wait a minute! And I turned it upside down, and I'm like, that's the design that's on our first album. And I'm looking at it going, holy crap, and forgetting, okay, years had gone by. When this album we did, it was in the 90s. The album that they did was in the mid-2000s. And I'm like going, oh, wow, did they use our album artwork? That's awesome. And I thought it was cool, and I posted it on our website. Next thing you know, it got picked up on Reddit, and then Noisy picked it up, and Vice.com picked it That's the same thing, Noisy Vice. And like all of a sudden, did Bad Brain steal this artwork and all this kind of stuff? And I was like, I didn't say that. I just said it was the same artwork. And so all of a sudden, we and the thing was, is all of the people who love Bad Brains came out, and they're just like hating on us. But, oh no. Well, and I also got a, so, and this is what I didn't know. Shepard Ferry was actually going through the court case for the Obama hope thing at the time. And I had no concept that he was literally being sued for appropriating (laughs) someone's photography. And here I said this about him using our artwork and everybody's like, he's doing it again. And I was like, what is he doing? I thought, right. I just thought it was cool. So oh. he actually called me on the phone. I had Shepard. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The phone I've, I've actually tried you <laughs> calling the number since then and it's been disconnected, but I used to have his phone number on my phone and he called me and I explained to him and I was like, no dude, I was literally going, this is really cool. I wasn't going right. like, how dare he? And he was like, yeah. that's what I thought. And, and very nice. It was a cool conversation. And, uh, then yeah, but we got bashed online. But on top of oh. that, we also but yeah, yes, it's oh, but also our listenership went up tons, you know, right. and we still got new email signups and we actually got lots so with the hating came the people going, Oh, check out this band, that's really cool, sort of thing. So yeah, there's that. There's it's all of it came with and I wish I would have been able to wrangle it better back when it happened. You know, like now I know more of what how I would have handled it and what I would have done. And I think it could have yeah. gone even farther. And that's the other thing about about people using your stuff is it's like if somebody did something like that, I would shout it from the roof, rooftops even more or, you know, just bring it up because who knows how much it's going to skyrocket regardless of what side you're on. I, I can I, I certainly see that that point and it's good that that you know worked out uh for you you know for for me i've i've had this philosophy that look if if someone were to copy my work yeah i can get upset about it and Mm -hmm. i'm sure i I would for a little while but but at the end of the day i can create another photograph i i know that i have the skills and i know that i've you know uh, i've worked hard so that i i would be able to take that photograph now, someone who just goes out and copies, they don't have that. They have to take it from somebody else. They have to take that inspiration, that 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 level of creativity from somebody else. Um, and so for them, they're always going to have to copy something. And I know that, no, I could go out tomorrow and I could create another image. Mm-hmm.